Imagine making a call or sending a text. It seems simple, right? You just tap a few buttons, and within seconds, you're connected to someone miles away. But have you ever wondered what really happens when you press that call button or hit send on a text message? What you don't see is a hidden network working behind the scenes, connecting your phone to the world. This invisible web of connections is constantly at work, ensuring that your messages and calls reach their destination without a hitch. This network relies on something called Signaling System Number 7, or SS7. Developed in the 1970s, SS7 is a set of protocols that allows phone networks to exchange the information needed to connect and manage calls and text messages. Think of it like a global air traffic control for phone calls and messages. Just as air traffic controllers guide planes to their destinations, SS7 directs your calls and texts to the right place no matter where in the world they need to go. SS7 might sound technical, but it's the reason you can call someone across the country or even the world. Without it, our modern communication systems simply wouldn't function as seamlessly as they do. It handles the complex signaling and routing that connects your phone to theirs. Every time you make a call or send a text, SS7 is there, working tirelessly in the background to ensure that your communication is clear and uninterrupted. This system has been around for decades, and for the most part, it works smoothly. It's a testament to the ingenuity of its designers that it has stood the test of time and continues to be a backbone of global communication. But there's a catch. SS7 has a security flaw. Despite its robustness, it wasn't designed with modern cybersecurity threats in mind. This vulnerability has been exploited by hackers and malicious actors. And this flaw can give hackers a way to listen in on your calls, read your texts and even track your location. It's a stark reminder that even the most reliable systems can have weaknesses and it's crucial to stay informed and vigilant about the security of our digital communications. The SS7 network wasn't built with security as the top priority. It was designed in a more trusting time before the days of widespread hacking. This means that hackers can potentially gain access to the SS7 network. Think of it like this. SS7 is like a house with a back door left open. Hackers can slip in through this backdoor and exploit the system for their own gain. Once inside the SS7 network, hackers can perform what are known as SS7 attacks. These attacks can be incredibly invasive, giving them a lot of control over your phone and your personal information. So how do SS7 attacks actually work? One common method is called location tracking. By exploiting SS7 vulnerabilities, Hackers can trick the network into revealing your phone's location. They can also intercept your calls and text messages. This means they can listen to your conversations and read your private messages without you ever knowing. These attacks can be difficult to detect because they exploit flaws in the network itself, not necessarily your phone. This makes it even more important to understand how they work and what you can do to protect yourself. The implications of SS7 attacks are far-reaching. Governments have been known to use SS7 vulnerabilities for surveillance purposes. They can track the movements of individuals and intercept their communications without needing physical access to their devices. But it's not just governments. Private companies also offer SS7 tracking services, often marketed to law enforcement and intelligence agencies. This raises serious concerns about privacy and the potential for abuse. The fact that these vulnerabilities can be exploited by both state and non-state actors highlights the urgent need for stronger security measures. Section 5. The Real Cost of SS7 – Vulnerabilities, High-Profile Breaches SS7 attacks aren't just theoretical threats, they've happened in the real world with serious consequences. These breaches have exposed the fragility of our communication networks and the ease with which malicious actors can exploit them. The SS7 protocol, originally designed in the 1970s, was never intended to handle the security demands of today's interconnected world. In 2014, it was revealed that hackers had exploited SS7 flaws to steal money from bank accounts in Germany. This incident was a wake-up call for many, highlighting the urgent need for improved security measures. The attackers intercepted two-factor authentication codes sent via SMS, allowing them to drain accounts without the victim's knowledge. More recently, researchers demonstrated how SS7 attacks could be used to track the location of a U.S. congressman in real time. 
this chilling demonstration showed that anyone with the right tools could potentially monitor the movements of high-profile individuals, posing significant risks to personal safety and national security. These incidents show just how vulnerable our mobile communications are to this type of attack. The implications are far-reaching, affecting not just individuals, but also businesses and governments. The ability to intercept calls and messages, track locations, and even manipulate data can have devastating effects. The potential damage goes beyond privacy invasion. The financial losses from such breaches can be enormous, and the reputational damage can be irreparable. Companies may lose the trust of their customers, and individuals may find their personal and professional lives upended. SS7 attacks can have significant financial and reputational consequences for individuals and organizations alike. As we continue to rely on mobile communications for everything from banking to personal conversations, the need for robust security measures becomes ever more critical. It's a stark reminder that in our digital age, vigilance and proactive measures are essential to safeguard our information and privacy. Section 6. Beyond Spying, the Threat of Financial Fraud While spying and surveillance are major concerns, SS7 attacks can also be used for financial gain. Hackers can exploit these vulnerabilities to intercept two-factor authentication codes sent via SMS. This means they can bypass security measures and gain access to your online accounts, including banking apps, email, and social media. Imagine receiving a text message that appears to be from your bank, asking you to confirm a transaction. If a hacker has intercepted your messages, they could trick you into handing over sensitive information. Section 7. Shielding Your Phone – Practical Tips for SS7 – Protection The good news is that there are steps you can take to protect yourself from SS7 attacks. These attacks exploit vulnerabilities in the SS7 protocol, which is used by telecom networks to exchange information needed for passing calls and text messages between each other and to ensure correct billing. While you can't completely eliminate the risk, you can make it much harder for hackers to target you. Start by being aware of the potential threats and understanding how they work. Knowledge is your first line of defense. One of the most effective measures is to use encrypted messaging apps like Signal or WhatsApp. These apps provide end-to-end -end encryption, which means that only you and the person you're communicating with can read the messages. Not even the app providers can access your conversations. These apps encrypt your messages end-to-end, -end, making it much more difficult for anyone, even those with access to the SS7 network, to intercept them. This is crucial because SS7 attacks often involve intercepting text messages to steal sensitive information or to bypass two-factor authentication. You should also be wary of suspicious SMS messages, especially those requesting personal information or asking you to click on links. These messages can be a part of phishing attacks designed to trick you into revealing your personal information. Always verify the source before responding or clicking on any links. Another important step is to enable two-factor authentication (2FA) on your accounts. This adds an extra layer of security by requiring a second form of verification in addition to your password. Even if a hacker manages to get your password, they would still need the second factor to access your account. Regularly updating your phone's software is also crucial. Software updates often include security patches that fix vulnerabilities, making it harder for attackers to exploit your device. Make sure to install updates as soon as they become available. Lastly, consider using a virtual private network (VPN) when accessing the internet on your phone. A VPN encrypts your internet traffic, making it more difficult for hackers to intercept your data. This is especially important when using public Wi-Fi networks, which are often less secure. By following these practical tips, you can significantly reduce your risk of falling victim to SS7 attacks and keep your personal information safe. Section 8. The Future of Mobile Security – A Call for Stronger Defenses while individual users can take steps to protect themselves, addressing the root cause of SS7 vulnerabilities requires a collective effort. Telecommunications companies and industry stakeholders must prioritize security upgrades and implement robust authentication measures within the SS7 network. Governments also have a crucial role to play in establishing stricter regulations and international cooperation to combat SS7 attacks. The future of mobile security depends on a multifaceted approach that involves technological advancements, policy changes, and increased awareness among users. 
Section 9. Staying Vigilant in a Connected World As we become increasingly reliant on mobile devices, it's essential to remain aware of the potential risks. SS7 attacks highlight the vulnerabilities inherent in our communication networks. By understanding how these attacks work and adopting security-conscious practices, we can mitigate the risks and safeguard our privacy in an interconnected world. Remember, staying informed and taking proactive measures is key to staying ahead of the curve in the ongoing battle for mobile security.